let's fight Queen Yogiglius. But first, we must go through Yogiglius's castle. We must fight off all possible death here. That's headstones, that's Im being impaled, dry bones. We don't need to fight them off, actually. We can just try and get around them. We don't need to be too vengeful. We can try, try and show ourselves off as kind of peaceful. We can hear that Queen Yogiglius gets his or her... Oh! <laughs> stupid, stupid me. It's obviously a her. I was somehow willing to debate myself whether Yogiglius was a male or female name, but Queen is a dead giveaway. A DEAD giveaway. Chances are Queen Yogiglius could be an undead. We'll see. So, if that's the case, then it literally would be a dead giveaway. Actually, she's not willing to give herself away, but... I'm willing to let myself get sent back to the very beginning of the level. No, I'm not. No wonder it took me so long to get back to the world map. Apparently there's no time limit in this level, so... A time, lim a time up screen should have appeared, but... Since there was no text, obviously it didn't. Oh, we got the Poodaboos. Where am I standing? Obviously not somewhere safe. Too bad I can't use the shoulder buttons here, as it would seem. Oh, and one of those hands shoots fireballs. I wish the human hand could do that. Of course, that would come with risks. Of course, we probably had our own risks before that, but we just weren't too aware of them. I don't know. We hardly even think about them. <laughs> Should have used a spin jump. Our predicament here... I'm kind of big, but I don't know how to fit through that. Spin jumping was apparently the solution after all, although that last one did not work out. Hey. This is crazy. Really crazy here. Yeah, now we're getting a little bit repetitive here. Yeah, make the saws appear and then go back to the left so they can disappear. Okay, power up in here. I'll gladly accept it. And I'll gladly keep it too. Okay, so into this door, what do we have? Well, we can get a feather from here, but... Again, I hope that I can keep it. Well, at least I'm at the other side of this. Kinda crazy, kinda crazy. Really crazy. Okay. Again, though, we have no time limits, so... Gotta find a way. What the heck is this? Really? What what was the big idea? Really, what is the big idea? I decided to give myself a save state before the part where I could get the feather. And I think that was an okay place for me to put it. Using just one for now. And I can see one of those enemies is stuck inside inside a wall. Or maybe it's a giant brick, not a wall. Whew, just to pass the fire here. And whatever this is, a three up. Oh great, more ladders again. Okay, it's time I made a third save state in this level. Because of this. Those Koopas do not go low enough, so... This is going to be really, really hard. Especially without my double jump getting reset. Okay, let's try that again. You know, it's probably be easier small anyway. Okay, fourth ladder. I think it's the fourth. Fifth. 
counting it up because that's all I can really think of right now. Almost there. Okay, okay. And you know what? More ladders, another save from me. I could probably put my double jump to some good use. Some good use. Let's take this slow and steady, though. And we're here now. Let's not go too low yet. Almost past these ladders. Wow. Oh, crud. I think I screwed that up. This is going to be quite hard with these blocks right here. Magikoopa can't even get rid of them. I have to get rid of them myself. But hey, there is a checkpoint, apparently? I don't think I'll be able to get it, though. I can't even knock out that Magikoopa with a blue block. Really? Just really? I have to do it this way? I better make it. There we go. There we go. I hope the boss is near. Because if it isn't, we may be in big trouble. Or there's always a chance the halfway point is improperly placed. What? Even better, the halfway point doesn't work. And still, something is killing me. I don't know what. Saws in the background. In the background. <sighs> it's a layer two, whatever. Whatever it is. It's getting on my nerves. Okay, invisible saws justify my use of save states in this level. <sighs> Hate invisible sprites whatsoever. Now what? Now what? Oh, I think I might be able to salvage it. No, not like that. What was I thinking? Don't need to worry too much about salvaging. Thanks to the double jump. Yes, now the save state abuse kicks in. some more. And one here. Heesh. <laughs> now we're getting into somewhat Kaizo territory. <sighs> but I'm guessing it's the final level in this hack. Really long and really hard. Harder than the rest of the ones I played, I think. Now what? And how would I get up there? Really, how... Invisible coin blocks, I see. And there might be another invisible coin block somewhere. Yes, of course there's one here. But there are presumably going to be others. One here. And one here. In we go. And the level keeps going. <sighs> I hope this part's much easier. I'm not gonna make save states throughout this room just yet. Looks like it's pretty easy so far. I think because of sprite limits, the saws have been disappearing. Okay, I deserve that. This, not so much. Now let's do this a little bit better. I said better! And I could stand on that? I don't know what's going on here. Need some type of explanation for this. I would need an explanation for this. I don't know what's causing the saws to disappear. I'm still gonna guess it's sprite limits, but there could be something else to this. Okay, another door. What's in this door? 
It sends me back to the beginning? Really? We don't go in this door after all. We gotta go down here. We gotta just barely fit in there. Let's get ourselves a feather. And now. Something up here? Is there something up there? I think there is. But exactly what? Ah, great. Power up waste. Okay, let's duck quickly. Now what? Okay, down here. Thankfully no background to distract us this time, and... Some of these are ledges, some of these are not. The ones with coins on them apparently are. Now where should I go? Okay, let's collect this and enter the next room. I guess I'll make another save. If the room keeps scrolling and you find a door, my guess is that you should not enter the door. Okay, so... Where do we go then? Where do we go? Really? What is it then? What is it? <sighs> Apparently it's invisible platforms. Sheesh. There's no way to know where they go. Or yes, there aren't there aren't even any shadows for this. So what is it then? Really, what is it? I just cannot understand this. Well, at least we're through that. And another checkpoint, which isn't going to work either, I'm guessing. In the next room is Queen Yogiglius, the final boss. Defeat her by throwing blocks at her, but avoid the flames, or you're doomed. Y-O-U-R. Doomed. Maybe we could use some flames of our own. I am the darkest of evil in the land. You will never see anything worse than me. I am your worst nightmare. Prepare to lose. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna save. I don't want to have to jump those invisible platforms again. Hey. Run. Okay, how many blocks? Is it gonna be blue blocks that we throw it? Or? I'm guessing it will be. Just guessing that it will be. Not absolutely. So, she apparently is a big boo boss. My guess, she's going to take more than three hits. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, there's one right there. Crud. We're in for a treat. Well, let's go somewhere else to pick up some blocks. Stop spamming these flames at me! This is crazier than the Yellow Devil. And I missed. Great. Okay, that's one. Well, I'm kind of lower now. Don't know if that's going to help me at all. I'll bet she takes five hits to kill. I have a reason to assume why. Previous bosses I've fought before, all three of them took five hits. Didn't fight Iggy or La Larry either. I was about to say Lemmy. Well, we fought the other version of... I guess the other version of Lemmy, which was... Wendy. Pretty different, though. Okay, one more. Apparently not one more. Maybe she takes seven hits. I don't know how many hits she'd take. Ow. <sighs> Wasting stuff will hurt. If I can do one of those Kaizo jumps, it's not really necessary, but 
it would help. No need. Okay, now what? Grab it, and successfully do a double jump. Right there. Wow, that is a lot of hits. Too many to count. Ow. Great. Yeah. <sighs> John, quit trying to be an acrobat when you're not. Hey. Well, I don't know. She takes 15 hits, 10 hits. Do I, did I have to use every block efficiently? I don't know. She's still not dead! What is with this? It's crazy. Really crazy. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. Good riddance. Good riddance. And no mu music this time. But... We've beaten the hack. Super Mario World. Nintendo C. Copyright Nintendo. Credit to smwcentral.net, of course. New background, map, area, graphic, design, XX Chain Chomp 01. Sound composer for new PJL music. Okay, Paper John Land music. XX Chain Chomp 01. Send this to XX Chain Chomp 01 after the credits. Um. Okay. Yo, Gig Lights. Character idea. XX Chain Chomp 01. Jingle Bells music. Okay. Well, we know that Jingle Bells is another song. Special thanks to all who helped me with my hack. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Well, John, you can finally rest easy now. Bostro, you can too. And those seven eggs... They can all rest easily. In the moonlight, apparently. And now... Another Bostro! Alright. And now... And thank you! John... Thank you for rescuing those baby Bostros. Well, apparently the enemies have new names now. Some of those enemies were unused. Paramite, Parachick... Ah, two of them that I didn't read. Turklet, Turklet, Surf, Vernola, Burr, Super Bear, Charging Bull, Jumping Hand... Well, I guess it's glad you indicated which ones are unused. Old Bull, Red Blur, Angry Surfer. Angry Surfer. Yeah. Others. Mega Sur and Urn. Uh, sure, so many that end in Ur. Wow. Okay, Triscops, Tripinch, and Bears. Yes, now we find out what they are. Had no idea before. Pokey Kin, Buzz for Poke, and Burr. Um, Launch Sir, Engfleur, Furps, Sharkotur, and Octo. Well, Octo, I guess that makes sense. It's got eight of those things. Then the Yogiglites, Queen Yogiglius, and the Eeries. I don't recall seeing your gig lights in this hack. Okay. Flashy 
Okay, Dry Bones was used. Massive, Tomb, and Tombi. Um, Tender and Grinder. <laughs> now. And Resnor. Well, <laughs> after after all that Master Quest 5 and 6, I guess it's good to cleanse the palette away from Resnor. Mr. Bimba. Alright. And... The side monster. What about Ludwig? Uh, isn't he also accounted for? Okay. Interesting way to end it. And... Bostro's proud of it too. Well, that's the end of this hack. So, see you next time.